Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do an oil change on my 2017 Ford F250 Super Duty. And it's got the 6.2 liter motor. So it calls for seven quarts of oil and I'm using Ford's recommended synthetic blend. Hopefully it's coming out on camera. And in this, I'm also using Fram's XG2 filter. Uh, I mean, I usually use these or Napa's. Either one is fine. So usually to do these, it's pretty easy to do. You've got a lot of ground clearance under these vehicles. So I just wanted to show you that it is fairly simple. Okay, let's get started. Okay, you're going to want to use a 5 8 inch socket. The nice thing about working on these is you don't really have to pull up on ramps to change the oil. There's definitely enough ground clearance on these vehicles. There is a little overing washer on this bolt but I did change it at the last oil change, so it was still fine. So right when it gets snug, I just go about one eighth of a turn more. I mean, I really don't put a lot of pressure on it. That's good. Okay, so that part's done. Let's move on to the filter. Okay. I'll finish letting it make its mess. So I'm not sure if you can see this on video, but the O-ring did stick. So you want to make sure you get that off. So I I did fill up the filter about three quarters of the way full with oil and put new oil on the, the gasket. So 
So right there, it's just starting to get snug. So you'll go about three quarters to one turn. That should be good. Okay. That's that. Okay, I just wanted to show you. So I did break this loose when I was draining the oil. So we'll take this out. So I just wanted to show you. It's kind of a reach to get down in there with the, the oil. So I got this... Uh, long extended filler So let's turn our key on. Don't start the motor. Let me get this down here. So my hood is open, so I just want to hit OK. So currently, I'm in display mode, and when I arrow over, it just tells me my miles per hour, but we want to arrow back to the left. So these are the little arrow keys you're using. You're going up and down, left, right. So I want to go down to where it says settings. Okay. And then you're going to arrow over to the right. Get out of that glare. So you're going to arrow to the right. So we do one click. And you want to go to advanced settings. Arrow again to the right. And you want to be on vehicle. So we stay there. An arrow again to the right and then you just want to go up and down till you get to your oil life reset which we were already there and then you arrow again to the right now that's not correct I, I forgot to hit the reset when uh, I did my last change so I want to reset it to a hundred percent so it says hit the OK button which is right there so we're gonna press and hold but I'll get the camera here so you can see what happens. And now we're back to 100%. Okay, everyone. Just wanted to say that I'm all done and I did check under the vehicle and there's no leaks. So that's a huge plus. Uh, I had to finish out the video here in my garage since uh, the wind is uh, wreaking havoc. And uh, I also did check uh, the dipstick and we're good to go. It's right on the full line. So this vehicle states that it calls for 6.97 quarts. We'll just call it seven. And yeah, we are good to go. So if you found this video helpful, I would greatly appreciate a thumbs up and heck, even consider subscribing. Okay, uh, until the next video, we'll see you again.